All right, so that's Pelican Seafood. And uh, I'll see you, and we're gonna make a Caribbean lobster and shrimp jerk rice recipe now. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna do the Caribbean jerk lobster shrimp rice. I don't even know what it is, but here's the goal, okay? So I did start, I did put this corn of cob whole in the oven at 350 for about 40 minutes while I went to the store. So this is done. This is gonna be for our salsa. So I wanna get that done. So that's gonna be a nice little roasted corn salsa we're gonna make. And here's the goal. If you want to come here, Sophie, we got a, a spiny. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Spiny lobster tail, Caribbean lobster tail. Just beautiful. And I got it frozen. If you saw the video where I went to uh, Pelican Seafood, I bought it frozen. I put it in the fridge. It's been basically 24 hours. It's ready to go. So it, it thawed out naturally. Look at these Caribbean shrimp unbelievable so i'm gonna marinate these in a jerk marinade i'm gonna make a butter rum sauce for this we're gonna make rice and red beans with coconut milk celery and green pepper onion there's that rum and all over here we're going to make the salsa with mango pineapple avocado lime cilantro thyme i think is going over here but it's real important that you get everything set, everything out, take your time. Now it's gonna take about an hour and a half for the rice and beans. So for the complete meal, it should only take you an hour and a half be, and you're sitting down to eat. So here's the pan I'm gonna use for the rice and beans. It's real heavy, it uh, has a tight lid. So when I get everything prepped and ready to go, I'll see you in a little bit. Hello. <laughs> wow. So here we are. We got uh, one cup here, show them this. One cup, don't get too close, it's getting a little. Uh, one cup of red beans uh -huh. in here, a celery stock, and a half of a green pepper. Now we brought that to boil, right? We brought that to boil. And then I used coconut milk and coconut water with pineapple and a total of six cups. So we're gonna pour this in right now. There, coconut milk, all right. And we got two cups of water to make it six cups. Right there, there we go. Now, we're going to cover this and we're gonna cook it for about an hour and a half uh, and stir frequently so those beans don't burn. Once that done, once the beans get soft, then we're gonna add our rice and thyme and salt. And when the rice gets absorbed, it's done. So while this is uh, cooking at an hour and a half, we're gonna simmer it, we're gonna turn it down to about three, and we're gonna simmer this for an hour and a half. Uh, I'll come back, but in the meantime, we're gonna be making the butter rum sauce and uh, the jerk seasoning, and we'll have everything prepped. So when this is done, we're ready to go. And by the way, we're cutting this pineapple in lengthwise and making two bowls. So we'll be serving the rice and the lobster and the shrimp and this pineapple. It's gonna be awesome. I'll, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay. Oh. All right, here we are. Uh, it may sound like a lot of work, but I'll tell you what. Mmm, that coconut milk. Can you smell that, Sophie? Can you smell that coconut? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm, that is so... Oh, my gosh, this is so good. Look. And it's been... I don't know how long it's been. Just 10 minutes, maybe. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a marinade for the shrimp 
and I cut the shrimp. I just sliced them. I'm going to leave the shell on so when we grill them on this pan, it's going to keep in that moisture. So we're going to make the marinade right now. If you come up here, Sophie, I'll tell them what's in the marinade. We're going to have a half a cup of vegetable oil, three cloves of chopped garlic, a serrano pepper, de-seeded, chopped. Don't touch your eyes after you chop this. A tablespoon of fresh ginger. Oh, oh my gosh. Brown sugar, tablespoon of brown sugar, tablespoon of paprika, or two tablespoons of paprika, one tablespoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, mm. uh, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of allspice. Oh, see, oh my, see, this is the whole deal. This is why we do this. So we're going to take this and get our Olaf paddle here. It's called a spatula. Hello. And put all this in here. Hopefully. You don't have to be perfect. Do you have to be perfect, Sophie? No. Nope. All right. So there, we're going to put this in here. All that. Ooh, man, I just love that fresh ginger. I, it's the first time I've ever actually made fresh ginger. Mmm. Now we're going to put it in a blender. If I can get the top off. Oh, I need a bigger kitchen. All right. There we go. Pull off it. That. Let's turn this on. Sorry about that. There we go. You know that's going to smell. I'm not going to take a whiff because of that serrano pepper. I'm not going to burn my eyes out. But that's the only heat we're going to put in this dish. And now we're just going to pour it over the shrimp. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to cover that. We're going to put that uh, in the fridge for an hour and a half and we'll be ready to go. Um, I guess I'll toss it a little bit, but I think it, they're all covered. Now I got it all over my hands. So I'll wash them off and we'll check you in a little bit. We're going to make some more jerk seasoning and uh, the rum butter and maybe carve up some salsa. See ya. Okay, we're checking on the rice. Um, it's been, I think about 20 more minutes. It start, you can see it's getting a little lower in liquid right now. I can feel the beans are starting to give a little bit. We got, may have another half hour to go on that. And we're going to make the rum butter sauce now. So we got that on, um, I guess five, we're going to melt that butter, tablespoon of butter, and we're going to add onion and green pepper. And we're going to saute this. All right, so we got this sauteing. You can show them that right inside there. And then we're going to add, I made some more uh, jerk seasoning, so we're going to add a tablespoon of the jerk seasoning. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh, can you smell that, Sophie? Smell that. Mm -hmm. Man, that's so aromatic. Mm. So we're sauteing this. And we're going to add the rum now. Oh, just a little bottle of Bacardi rum. Now what are we making? It's a rum butter sauce. All right. So let that rum cook off. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yep, that's cooking off. Woo! 
Okay. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. oh, the alcohol in the rum cooked out. And so that's gonna, oh, mm. this is looking so nice. Look at that. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pour it off the heat and we're gonna add a uh, quarter cup of lime and lemon juice and three more tablespoons of butter. All right. And we're just gonna stir that until the butter melts. And when we're cooking the lobster, when we finally throw the lobster in to the oven at 300 for about 15 minutes, we're gonna brush that lobster with this sauce. And then we're gonna pour this sauce over the lobster, over the rice. All right, so this is turning out very nice and I'll check with you in just a second. I think we're gonna cut that pineapple open. All right, moving right along. And definitely, you need to stir this. Try to see how the liquid's getting lower now. Mm. All right, and I tested a bean. It's almost there. All right, but you got to keep stirring it or it's going to stick and burn. And uh, the mango and the avocado, the, I chopped that up probably a little bit too much. But here's what I wanted to show you, the pineapple. So I cut it right here. And now I'm going to go this way, right down the center. Boom. And there's our di dinner bowls. <laughs> so then we're going to cut the inside like here. And we're going to go around the edge. And we're gonna dig this pineapple out. And I'm gonna add that to the salsa. I'm gonna do that wedge there. And you get the idea. So we'll be back in a little bit. All right, we're done. Okay, so the beans are soft. We're gonna add two and a half cups of rice to this one. Two. A half. Where's a half? I need my glasses. And a half. Just regular rice. I, I chose organic white rice. Nothing fancy. And so we're just going to stir that. And now we're going to wait till that liquid. Oh, look at this. Doesn't that look nice? We're gonna wait till that rice absorbs that liquid. It should be about 20 minutes. So now we can pull out um, our shrimp and lobster and I'll see you in just a second. All right, we're in, we are in the home stretch and it's four o'clock, just like I thought uh, we'd have dinner. Um, check on the rice, lift it up. You may have to add, I had to add a little bit more water and I did add that thyme and salt. So you're gonna be able to check when the rice is done, you can, it's still a little hard. So it's got some liquid in there. You may have to add a little bit of water. You're just gonna to have to test it out. Keep stirring, it'll stick to the bottom if you don't. So here we are, here's the lobster. It's just beautiful lobster tail. Spiny, Florida spiny. So I'm just gonna cut it right in half. Right in half. Oh, oh my gosh. So we're gonna put it over here on the cast iron skillet. We're going to brush it with that rum butter. You're getting one, Sophie, and I'm getting one. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put it in the oven at 300 for 15 minutes. It should, the rice should be done. The lobsters should be done. 
and then we'll grill the shrimp in just a second. The shrimp's not gonna take that long. I'll see ya. And here we are. There's the shrimp and the rice filled in the pineapple bowl. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a Caribbean shrimp and lobster jerk rice, red beans and rice, pineapple bowl.